Street by street, building by building, the intense battle for the rebel-held city of Misrata goes on. Six civilians were reportedly killed and dozens injured today as Colonel Gaddafi's forces continued their seven-week assault on the port with rocket and artillery attacks. But as food and medicine begin to run short, attention's turning to the humanitarian situation. Tonight, Britain's International Development Secretary Andrew Mitchell flies to New York for a UN emergency meeting to discuss how to get more supplies into the beleaguered city. Our foreign affairs correspondent Jonathan Miller reports from the Libyan capital, Tripoli. For 50 days now, the last remaining rebel enclave in western Libya has been mercilessly shelled by Libyan government forces. The rebels fighting for their lives and those of Misrata's 400,000 people who dared to stand up to the dictator. Yesterday, a two-hour battle raged over two blocks in the heart of Misrata city. These men aren't trained as soldiers, but they claim they're pushing back Gaddafi's forces. They run from street to street, firing rocket-propelled grenades and automatic weapons. Doctors say at least 600 people have been killed, 3,000 wounded, most civilians. Warnings of impending humanitarian disaster. Rebels claim six died today and 50 injured during heavy shelling. The numbers cannot be independently verified. The International Red Cross failed to reach the rebel-held centre of the city. Today, a promised trip for journalists in Tripoli was cancelled at the last minute. Doctors say five were killed yesterday when this Misrata factory was shelled for half an hour. Cluster munitions banned under international law are reportedly still being used by Colonel Gaddafi's army. These men exhibit what they claim are the remnants of a Spanish-made cluster bomb. When these explode, they scatter lethal bomblets. This is like the type of bomb that uh, explodes here. Uh, at first, explodes in the air into six parts, like this. And each of these parts then explodes into like little marbles. And also, this is that what kills people here. This is the type of weapon that what kills, Gaddafi kills here. This is only two parts out of six. In Tripoli, the government maintains it doesn't even have such weapons in its arsenal. <laughs> And uh, I know that there is no a single soldier in the Libyan armed forces have been trained on such kind of weapons. Those being evacuated by ship from Miserata, here by the charity Médecins Sans Frontières, say it gets worse every day, with food and medical supplies now dwindling. The rebels cornered and cut off as shells rain down on residential areas. 100 wounded people evacuated on this ship, 10 in critical condition. MSF doctors providing emergency care en route to neighboring Tunisia. While Libyan civilians and rebels continue to face the onslaught of Colonel Gaddafi's forces in Misrata, the government here in Tripoli insists that the only civilian victims are those of NATO. As per this poster at the front of our hotel in Tripoli, but to the best of my knowledge, in four weeks of bombing, not a single journalist has met or interviewed one person who can definitively be said to be a victim of NATO airstrikes. The government is still refusing to take foreign journalists to Misrata City, citing safety reasons. And no wonder. Jonathan Miller, Channel 4 News, Tripoli. And for a first-hand account from Misrata, where cluster bombs have been nicknamed candy bombs, go to our website at channel4.com forward slash news.